that's after his huge win. First of all, congratulations, man. How special is this moment for you? Thank you. It, it's special for a lot of reasons, but the most important is that as soon as I, I, as soon as I had the one seed, I knew I had the choice of jerseys, and um, I went with Spot. And he was a good friend, and we lost him. I try to not get emotional, but I mean, I dedicated this tournament to him, and it's just like the fact that I won it, the, the tournament I was dedicating to him is awesome. So like, yeah, I'm just happy, very happy. Like, uh, it's, I'm not crying because I finally won, I'm crying because we miss him. And it's, it's just good that I got to win the tournament that before the tournament started, I knew I was dedicating to him. And it feels like I have the monkey off my back. I finally won. People can't say like, oh, joke, 13 major appearances, whatever I have, never won. So that feels good. But the, the, what feels the nicest is that I got to win a tournament where from the, you know, the first game, every single game I was dedicating to Spot Me. Spot Me, Drew Board, RFE, we miss you guys. We love you. And I'm just, you know, I'm so happy. It's awesome to see that in honor of them, man. <laughs> really, really appreciate that and the emotion. One of the most treasured traditions at the Madden Bowl is having the winner raise the trophy joke, but in the new normal, that's obviously a challenge. Uh, so for now, we took the initiative and enlisted San Diego Chargers safety in Madden 20 freak Derwin James to raise it for you. Hey, that's my guy, that's Derwin James. Hey, Joe, Joe Mix. you won your first belt. Congratulations on winning the Madden NFL 20 Bowl. Since we had to stay at home and watch it, I can't hand you your belt, but I'll be sure to mail it to you. Now, I know how much of a tradition this is to hold a belt over your head. If you don't mind, I'd like to do it for you. Congratulations. Hey, Hollywood, Joe Mixon, y'all check this out. Real 24 karat gold. Hey, we'll be sending that to you, buddy. But how, how cool was that that you ended up getting that belt from him? And, and uh, <laughs> just talk to me again, you know, lay out what's going on uh, for you at home. It's awesome, especially since Derwin James. Uh, big fan of Derwin James. Any, any NFL players that support the Madden community like they do, like, big shout out to Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon actually yesterday sent me a DM and basically told me, like, you know, obviously I had some stuff going on in my life, and if, if I needed anyone to talk to, you know, I could talk to him. And that's obviously not something he had to do. You know, he's, he's a pro athlete. He's an NFL star. And just the fact that, you know, mm -hmm. these, these NFL athletes would just reach out to us and, you know, be, basically be like one of us is awesome. It's great to see NFL players supporting Madden. Madden, I never thought Madden would get to this point. I remember driving three hours to go to PA to play for a $1,000 tournament where if you didn't win, you didn't make money. Like, we used to go because the tournaments were fun. We, we went because of the brotherhood, because of the community. And now the fact that we can win hundreds of thousands of dollars, I think I've won $240,000 from Madden, and I never would have thought Madden would have got this big. So just shout out to everyone who's made it possible, EA, the players, the fans, everyone, if it wasn't for everyone watching, everyone playing, everyone running these events, we would never have them. So I'm just, you know, grateful. I finally won one, finally got the monkey off my back. And yeah, I can't wait till I get that trophy in the mail so I can hoist it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Joke, it's your boy Mo, man. Uh, you know, Derwin James, he's been supporting Madden for a long time. Shout out to him, obviously. And man, I just gotta say, my little brother, I'm so proud of you, dude. Uh, I, you know, if, if, if people uh, watch and follow us on Twitter, they know we bicker at each other back and forth maybe more than anyone in the community. But I remember when I won my belt this year, you know how tough it was for me the last couple of years not doing anything in the MCS, nothing good to speak of. And you were you were one of the main people I heard in the audience, you know, rooting for me. So I just want to say I'm so happy for you, man. Congratulations. I love you. And, you know, of course, doing it for our brother Spot Me, I know that feels amazing for you. And, uh, man, I'm just so happy for you. Thank you, Mo. You already know it's all love. No matter how many times we, you know, go back and forth on Twitter, you know, we're always texting. It's all love. We never take anything personal. I always call you my little sister because, you know, every time I make a tweet, you always dare replying. People probably think we hate each other, but it's obviously the opposite. You know, I'm happy when you win, and I know, you know, you're happy when I win. So, you know, appreciate it. Love. What's going on, Joke? This your boy, User, man. Congrats, man. You know, we, we spoke this morning, man, and you said, hey, man, I just feel like today is the day. What made you feel that way? Uh, so I, it's, I'm just going to go back to it again. It's just all the preparation I did going into this tournament. Stevie hasn't played the game in, I don't know, two months. And I, I messaged him today. I said, hey, I knew that I was going to play when I went to Winflex Close. I knew I had to run for, you know, three to five wide. So I knew people would go to the pinch tee. And I knew if I played Decroft, he would go to the pinch tee. So I asked uh, Stevie, I said, yo, how did you used to run dive against the pinch tee? And that got me two touchdowns. That's the reason why I won the game. So it's all preparation. It's everyone who helped me live. I want to give a shout out first to everyone that's helped me, but 
The first person I really want to give a shout out to is, is Jaybird. Jaybird's the reason why I decided to go with a 10 cap quarterback. I was one of the people who thought 10 cap quarterback had no chance to win. You could not win a tournament like this. And I ended up playing him and I actually realized like, okay, this is really hard to stop and I know it's going to be hard to score on me. So then after that, Chai's, Chai's franchise and, you know, Tony, I love you guys. I obviously love everyone else in NBA, but those three stand out to me the most because those are the guys who helped me lab. VY, if I told him, there was a game where I ran the ball 88 times in one game against VY. And VY never got lazy. He never tried to stop shooting the gap. So guys like that, you know, there's a reason why players like us or me like that win. Like, even if you see that I win, it's not because of me. It's like, if I didn't have franchise and VY and Tony in my corner, there's no way I would have won this tournament. And it's, that's a legit stat. We played a game where I ran the ball 88 times against one defense to try to find runs to work against it. Wow. Wow, Joe, thank you so much, man. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations. Enjoy the time with your family, man. This must be a huge moment for you. Uh, we're so happy for you and so proud of you for what you've done. Probably the best MCS season ever, I think, just got capped. And I got to give a big thank you to one great user and serious Mo, my buddies here on the desk for this one. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for all the effort, all the sacrifice, uh, and all the great times we've been able to have. I'm sure we'll have much more in the coming future. It has been an amazing